Hey, this is Scott Kanoki, uh, Denson County Extension Agent. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few gardening tips that I've uh, learned over the number of years. I picked up a, a roll of this landscape fabric from our local NRCS, and you can see it. I, I put it down here. It, it just rolls out. It's about five and a half feet wide, and I anchor it down with these staples, which is fairly inexpensive. And there again, the fabric isn't that much either. And, and I know there's other types available out there, but. Uh, Last year I had a lot of blossom end rot in my tomatoes and I had some tomatoes growing actually right here in this row uh, without the fabric. And then I had some growing in the fabric over here and I had about 60% blossom end rot uh, outside the fabric. But with it I think what happened I have a little more uh, even water uh, regimen in the soil. So I didn't have that big fluctuation which I've been re reading and, and I've been told that, that that can cause some uh, blossom end rot, but there was a marked difference between the stuff that was uh, with the fabric and without. So I'm gonna try it again this year. I'll have some in the plain soil and in the fabric, but what it does is it warms up quickly. Your plants get off to a real quick start. And like I say, you just put these staples down and you can, you can cut your holes with this fabric. It, it cuts almost like paper, no problem at all. And then from year to year, I can rotate from hole to hole or I could grow, you know, different species, but this next year I'm going to be growing some tomatoes here. Yeah. I've got a couple rows of garlic here. We planted them last fall and they're, they're emerging now. Um, but over here I've got a, there again, some of this fabric that I put down and actually this stuff has been laid down here for probably uh, six, seven years and it's still pretty good shape. So as long as you anchor it down well and it doesn't get hit with a lot of wind, uh, it lasts a long time. And I, I put this fence up here. Uh, just uh, as a trellis for the cucumbers and they, they really do well in this fabric as well But I've got holes staggered here. And I'll probably have five different plants growing up on here And it makes a really slick way to grow your cucumbers uh, Anyway, those are a couple of tips you might want to try I know there's some other mulches and things that can be used whether it be grass clippings or straw or there's other fabrics but uh, it sure makes uh, gardening pretty pretty slick and, and easy I don't have any weeds to, to fight or anything like that and um, I actually put some some fertilizer down in each hole I actually put some fish in there that I cut up uh, and discarded and after a while that'll break down and it creates really a nice nice uh, loamy soil and it, it just works pretty slick so anyway some tips from Benson County mm -hmm.